I come to learn about. This is the greatest. Everyone's hung up on the capital letters name thing. I'm going to tell you the greatest oppression throughout the world right now. And it's so basic and obvious and everyone's missed it. A couple of guys have found it. It's called the rules of civil procedure. Mm -hmm. Do you have rules of civil procedure over there in your courts? I believe we do, yes. Okay. Welcome to this film on courtroom etiquette. Do not bring any food or drink into the courtroom. Before entering a courtroom, turn off your cell phone or any other electronic device. If you are sitting in court before it is in session, stand up when the judge enters the courtroom. To the judge by giving your first and last name. Remember, remember, address the judge as your honor. Never interrupt the judge or anyone else. Wait your turn to speak. Be polite and respectful. Welcome everyone. This is Amir Mushtaq from U Council. Today we'll talk about rules of civil procedure in Ontario courts procedural rules that's what they are so we'll talk about what is their purpose there is a basic purpose of the rules of civil procedure and that is to ensure that the process of a court action is fair and so what I mean by that is when you begin your court action a claim against somebody or you're defending a claim that is issued by someone else against you um, that matter at some point will eventually go to a trial the matter will be heard before a judge and the judge will decide which party is right and which party is wrong it is important to ensure that by the time the matter is before the judge at trial all of the steps that have been taken by parties are leading to a fair process so that no side is unduly advantaged by um, any way by any technicality to get to that because if the process itself is unfair then it will be hard for for, for a party uh, to get a fair trial so this is all about process and these are codified in rules here's what the rules of civil procedure are uh, your courts and my courts are over here. These are public courts, okay? They're owned by the people. These are open public courts, which means they're not private courts because private courts could have private rules, okay? But these are open public courts. And I know over here, no one can determine how I want to move a case against somebody or move a claim against somebody. But what the rules of civil procedure are, are the legal society, the bar association members, got together and they created these things called rules of civil procedure. And here's what these rules did. Over here, it's our constitution. It allowed them to usurp the constitution by basically filing claims out of thin air like the attorney did in my sewer case and getting a judgment without a trial by jury because he was following the rules of civil procedure. And when I went back to look at my paperwork that was sent to me from the court, right at the top, it says, Pursuant to Civil Rule Procedure 236. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. So now we come down to, let me get this straight. There's a private legal society called the Bar that made, that made rules up, and this court is applying them to me. Now, let me go back to the basics. Like I said, I'm not, not the brightest, you know, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. So a am I owned by the court? Am I property of the court? No. Okay. Am I property to bar association? No. Do I have a contract with the court? No. Do I have a contract with the bar association? No. So then how are these rules of civil procedure being imposed upon me? That's not their court. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are not the oh, same thing over there. That legal society in front of your courts, they're not their courts. They may work there. Okay. They may earn a living there, but they're not their courts. They're people's courts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if it's not their court, then they don't get to impose rules upon me because it's a public court. It's an open court. Yeah. I said, ah, oh, there we go. That's what they're doing throughout the world, throughout the free world, basically, supposedly free world, mm -hmm. is they're using rules of civil procedure to usurp your rights. Mm -hmm. So when you see something like that in a document that's sent to you, uh, you're in an administrative process. You're not in a judicial process. You and I always think of judicial processes. This is a judicial process. They know. That's why like over here, you'll see clips of people in court and they'll say, you know, the judge will actually say, don't bring that constitution stuff in here. Like in the, in the case, wait a minute. You, you have an oath to the state and federal constitution. You're saying don't bring it in here because you're not in a judicial proceeding. You're in an administrative proceeding. And they've tricked you into being there. What they did is they tricked you into to entering their court. 
And there's some of the things that I'm working on now is how to stay out of their courts.